tell us the condition uh, of healthcare infrastructure in Syria and the bombings that are taking place in Idlib right now? Well, before the war began, Syria had one, had one of the best healthcare systems in the entire region. Uh, they produced their own pharmaceuticals. They were 98% self-sufficient, which means they didn't have to import pharmaceuticals from overseas. Unfortunately, when the war began, um, a lot of the insurgents would loot uh, pharmaceutical companies, the factories, and they would sell these drugs uh, to try to make money to fuel their war. Of course, the insurgents, the rebels, as they're being called, have also targeted hospitals on the government controlled side. Mm -hmm. However, they've also set up a lot of field hospitals all along the front lines of Idlib. And uh, as a result of these field hospitals, which are not established hospital, they're not like uh, known hospitals that existed before the war. They're sort of makeshift hospitals for the fighters. Uh, as a result, there's all these hospital attacks because of the amount of field hospitals that the rebels have organized. Also, the rebels have a tendency to garrison uh, buildings, which sometimes include hospitals, when they garrison such buildings, they use it as a means of warfare, um, not to be used as a hospital per se. You know, the, the, the problem is that Al-Qaeda is controlling Idlib. The, um, it is widely accepted and known by the United Nations and the US that Al-Qaeda is the strongest force fighting the Syrian army in Idlib. Um, it's also the, the strongest force in Idlib altogether. So uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, the, the Syrian government has no choice but to go in and continue to fight these people.